Well, I just recorded an entire video about this whole situation, but it is an ever evolving situation, so I'm gonna have to redo the entire thing. So with that, let's talk about how Chandler Kramer was nearly immediately dropped from Lone Star Dis. So you may remember 2022 at European Open where Chandler Kramer really made a name for himself securing fifth place with such amazing forehands and even had players like Joel that season stating what an awesome human Chandler is. Not only his character but also his game. This sport has never before seen a forehand with a level of simultaneous power, consistency, and versatility that Chandler plays with. So it looked like things were on the up and up after a very good year with him signing with Lone Star Discs. And if you recall, I think this is in that era where Lone Star was signing up basically everybody they possibly could and trying to have a super deep roster and I think this was even the year where they like signed for like a dog or something something weird like that so after that season Chandler re-ups with Lone Star going from mixed bag to an entirely Lone Star only season and also stating it is a much better deal than 2022 with a lot more opportunities to be a much bigger deal and clearly showing a lot of excitement for the signing and Chandler's rating really did skyrocket shooting 966 in 2021 all the way up to 1024 by the end of 2022 so it clearly looked like his game was clicking and all things were going super super well for Chandler but but after a kind of subpar season in 2023, I really wasn't sure where he would go because while the season was pretty decent in the era of so many good players out there, it is really hard to make a name for yourself, especially with most of his finishes being in the 20th and 30th place, with his highlight finishes being 4th at Mid-America Open, 22nd at Worlds, 22nd at USGGC, and his best Elite Series being 12th at Preserve. So again, that wasn't a bad season by any means, but especially for a company that does not have a huge budget and seems to do things not the most professionally, it seemed like that was not enough for Lone Star. And so we get this post at the end of 2023 where Chandler states, I want to say thank you to Lone Star for the last two years. I wanted to help grow Lone Star to try and make it one of the biggest disc manufacturing brands in the sport. I appreciate the opportunity and support Lone Star gave me to allow myself to get my name out there on the pro tour, as well as the entire disc golf community. Going into 2024, I will not be returning to Lone Star. Now this kind of sounds like he's dropping them, not them dropping him, but it's hard to really know. But I believe he still retained sponsorship with AGL. But then in kind of weird fashion, just a couple months later, right as the season starts they announce they'll be sponsoring Chandler Kramer again for the 2024 season oh sh here we go again. Now it only states 2024 season and Chandler even states to everyone that's confused Lone Star wants to help me and support me however they can. I appreciate the support and what they're doing for me. That's why I'm partnering with them again for the rest of the year. Now this sounds good but this also means that nobody wanted to sponsor Chandler Kramer which is definitely sad because he is a great player that has a lot of potential and does have great finishes but it just shows you how tight sponsorships are and how the disc golf world may seem like there's a lot of money but also we're in a period where people are buying less and less and so we get to today August 13th just just a couple hours ago, Chandler Kramer posts this bombshell of an update that I cannot believe. He starts by saying how he felt kind of off and how his tournament was pretty rough, stating, I tried hard to focus on my rounds, but found myself not completely present, and here's why. A few days before the event started, Lone Star called me and informed me they were cutting ties with me. A few hours before the round started on Friday, I received a text informing me that the van I'd been living slash traveling in this season was going to get returned to Houston. Since I was no longer on the team, it made sense. However, because of this, it meant I was going to be stranded in Kentucky with all of my things. I spent the weekend trying to figure out what to do and get plans in place so that I wouldn't be stranded and here's what I did. And then he goes on to state how he dropped his stuff off at a relative's, had to book it last minute to make a flight with the help of Raven Newsome, and then came back to Texas and bought a van like that day or yesterday because he literally has a picture with him in a brand new van. Crazy. And then he ends it by saying, however, for the first time all year, it feels like I can sincerely focus on just playing disc golf and I can't express how excited that makes me. Thank you to everyone who supports me. I'll see y'all at Worlds. So wow, that is insane. That is insane that Lone Star has the ability to just say, hey, yeah, you know how we sponsored you. We're gonna not do that. And I know we have a van, um, but yeah, we got to take that back literally right before Worlds. So uh, I know this is kind of like your home and everything, but we're we're gonna have to take that away from you. And I feel like there's just so little tact and it makes me wonder, is the PR department that daft that they would just totally burn this bridge as hard as they possibly could? Because if there are like performance clauses or as Chandler goes on to state in a Facebook post, the main issue was lack of promotion of Lone Star Disc, which is kind of funny. But whatever the reason is, knowing how little they gave him for information as to how short notice he had, it really makes everybody hate you. And that was especially seen in the comments with all these people stating that Lone Star is literally a class 
clown. It's a joke. They are literal trash. And that really does seem to be the sentiment. And I know this is not the first time that Lone Star has been in hot water, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last time, but it really shows you that loyalty does not lie with these companies. Unless you have a strong connection with the owner, if they are not managed well, they really will drop you in a moment's notice. And it just leaves such a sour taste because you know disc golf is such a tight knit community. If you do one wrong thing to one player, it gets around within literally a couple of hours. And while I think their plastic is decent, it's, it's all right, I would definitely not want to promote anything Lone Star and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. And I want to go into a little bit more detail about this whole situation with the promotion. According to a comment left by Chandler, he states, according to what I was told, it's the lack of promotion that I was doing for Lone Star on my social media. They also had a problem that I was promoting my other sponsors like AGL as much as I was slash more than Lone Star. Going on to state, I don't have any issues with the reasoning in which they cut ties with me. They have the right to do that. It's how they went about it that I really don't agree with. And I think, yeah, that's, that's obvious. If you don't want to promote a company that you honestly don't really like and you know that year they're going to end sponsorship with you, it seems pretty tough to be like, buy this brand new blend of like their newest driver. It does seem hard to promote that, but this also could be a little bit of laziness from Chandler. It's hard to say for sure. But then immediately after that post, we get a new signing with Dropship Disc Golf, which I believe to be just a retailer with the title underneath being AGL and Clash. So I don't know if he's actually like re-signing with AGL or, or it's just the existing signing. And as far as I know, Clash was a total new sponsorship and his bio doesn't even include clash yet but whatever the case is it's awesome that the disc golf world is that close and tight-knit that there are always people willing to support you even if it's a little bit weird the dropship basically only sells lone star discs but overall while this is possibly the worst pr nightmare and i don't know how you could have not seen this coming it also could potentially mean that they have such little budget for their roster and they're losing money fast which definitely makes sense in an era where so many retailers and brands are really struggling to make a profit and their companies are having to work as lean as possible possible. But to do something as drastic as this and be basically so cutthroat that you couldn't wait a couple more months, it feels borderline embarrassing for the whole disc golf community. Because if you know anything about these touring players, they literally live in their van. So to literally give a text stating, hey, we need that van back like now is pretty heartless and pretty ruthless. And it makes the entire customer base not want to support you. I recently said in a video that basically the only brand that I know about that people would not throw was Prodigy. I think Lone Star is really vying for that top spot and it is not a spot you want to be. Wow, incredible. But I also want to say a major shout out to Chandler Kramer being like, I understand why they made the call. I wasn't promoting their stuff well, because I don't like their stuff. But the major disagreement was the manner in which they cut him, which obviously just makes no sense. So with that, what do you guys think about this whole situation? And would you buy Lone Star after this? It really does seem hard to want to promote a company like this. But hey, if you are a hardcore Lone Star in like the middle of Austin or Dallas, I, I guess you might want to throw them. I don't know. I was recently down in San Antonio. Crazy to see how much they adopted Lone Star, which makes sense. Like it's from Texas. But outside of that disc golf shop, I have almost never seen any other company that has really rep Lone Star that hard. So I really do not know what to expect of their future and long-term growth, especially when they do stuff like this. But with that, what do you guys think? I'd love to know. It's crazy. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.